a monster, Mr. Grinch. Your heart and Good evening. Welcome to Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. I'm here to do a book review on an anthology. It consists of four stories. One of the author was at the Atlanta Kickback back in July of this year. I met her and I bought this book. And little and behold, did I realize, not realize until just the other day when I started reading that it is an anthology, which is three other authors along with her who wrote this book. It was nice meeting her. She signed it for me. That was a great event. And I look forward to going to the Atlanta Kick back in the near future also. With no further ado, I am talking about Christmas isn't always merry. And the author is... Taylor Allen, Brandy Coxton, Deidre Lachey, and Shanika, Shakita Somerville. I hope I pronounced y'all name right. If I don't, please charge it to my heart. I'm sorry. <sighs> this is the month for Christmas. And every year, I love reading Christmas stories the month of December. And when I picked this book up and I started reading, I thought it was just going to be the typical, you know, family who's struggling and probably don't have a lot to buy the kids for Christmas. And, you know, toward the end, they get a blessing. But wow, was I in for a rude awakening because this book was <laughs> everything but that. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. If you're looking for a sad story or maybe a story that's like, heartwarming and romance and all of that, this book is not for you. I mean, it does have some of that in it, but it's a dark book. It's stories in the book. is like a lot of betrayal, tempted murder, murder. Um, I will be honest with you. I'm not going to go into detail, but I would like to say the first story starts off with Brittany um, and Charity, their best friend, Brittany's Charity's best friend, and Charity is a a victim in this book because her boyfriend is, like, beating her. I mean, he's very abusive. He's on cocaine. His name is Aaron, and he basically keep her hostage. He don't want her going anywhere without him knowing. Even to the bathroom, she pretty much have to ask. And Brittany is um, Charity's best friend, and Brittany goes, boyfriend is Charity's brother, so Charity gets Brittany to promise that she won't tell that, you know, because she finds out that she's been covering up the abuse and everything. She's wanting to go tell her brother so he can beat the brakes off of Aaron and get him straight and get her out of the situation. But Charity promised to keep, promise her, makes her promise not to tell her brother. She wants to do it after Christmas. I mean, I don't get that part because I'm like, when you want to do it before Christmas so you can have a nice Christmas. But anyway, it was a short story. Um, like I said, it's like it's an anthology. It's my first time doing a review for an anthology on my YouTube channel, so bear with me. And I just want to say the ending, I it was kind of like a cliffhanger because I would like to know more what happened to Aaron or whatever and more about the situation. And then you go into the second story. Oh, my. You, you're dealing with um, Cantus. At first, I felt sorry for her. She gets pregnant by her boyfriend, which his name is Perrine. And he's a basketball star. He goes out to college. And she makes it seem like he's, you know, messing around on here with other girls, college girls, while she at home taking care of their baby girl, which was named Christmas. Boy, when he told his side of the story, I was like, wow, she's very trifling. I just want to say this story was really, like, tense for me because I was like, mm, Kareem, his mother, is going to do something to her. That's all I'm going to say about that one. I really would like to see a follow-up with this one. And find out what really, I know what happened, but I want to know what happened after the fact. 
And then the third story, you have Vera, you have Rich, and you have Misha. Where Vera and Rich meets, and Rich falls in love with Vera, but during the time he met her, he started messing with Misha, and they was having the bomb sex, I guess you could say it that way. And um, they pretty much, you know, she pretty much fell for him, um, Misha did. But he really was into Vera, and he really was in love with her. He went to break it off with Misha, but she didn't take it so easily. Stalking started taking places. Taking place, and hmm, a lot of stuff's happened in this book. That's all I'm going to say about that, especially the end. And I was like, wow. Mm. And then the third story was really trifling betrayal. Oh, it really was a hot mess. Because in the third book, you had Marcus and Tanya, who was a couple. And then you had Michelle and Zoe. Zoe, whatever. I'm going to say Zoe, because it's Z-O, how you say his name. Well, Zoe and Marcus is cousin, Michelle and Tanya's best friend. Well, Marcus on his own car dealership. Tanya is a nurse. They're in a relationship. But she know his cousin Zoe got a thing for her. And she got a thing for him too. Little boy, little then behold, she moved in with Marcus. They start having issues. She stopped having sex with him. So one day she get off work. She come home. She come in the house. And she hear noise. Go upstairs. Michelle is having sex with her man. And when I say... The ultimate, when they say a woman's scorn, and the ultimate betrayal went down at the Christmas family dinner that day. Wow, that's all I'm going to say about that. But what I do take away from all of these stories is that, you know, it's time, some certain Christmas I feel, I ain't going to say I'm grateful because I'm always grateful, but complain, I felt this way or that way. Due to losing my mom and my grandma, I miss them this time around of the year a lot. This book opened my eyes to say how fortunate and lucky I am that I've never had to experience anything like this in this book because this is really someone's real life if you really think about it because this probably has happened to someone in, you know, around Christmas or on Christmas Day. So that's what I take away from how grateful and, you know, that I should be and not dwell on things that I may not have in my life and want in my life. That's what I take away from this book. I just want to say I give this book four stars. And I wish I could have given it but five. The only reason why I give it four is because of a few typos. I am going to Amazon um, just in a minute and type my um, my review up. But my video review, I give it four stars. And I give it four stars on my Amazon written review. Because it was a couple typos for it to be such a short book. And it consists of, of 169 pages. And again, if you're interested, it is called... Christmas Isn't Always Merry, and it's an anthology. It's four short stories. It's on Amazon and on ebook if you would like to check it out. It's $1.99. I just saw it myself. I'm not going to say goodbye. I'm just going to say until the next Christmas story I deliver to you. Have a great weekend. Thanks for all who watch. Thanks for subscribing to Robert's Reader Room of Reviews. And if you haven't, please do.